What's up guys? Um, so I was looking on eBay. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Um, I found a pretty good uh, used one on eBay. It looked all new. It said it runs nice. So I took the chance and bought it and it works perfectly fine. Um, it's a Titman A5. Uh, the reason I wanted this one is because uh, it has a hopper on it and this has a, a mechanical system where it feeds the next ball into the um, barrel or the like this uh, breech I guess um, and uh, my spider it does not have a uh, mechanical loader it's just kind of gravity fed and uh, basically all the balls go in here it can hold 200 rounds and then they go into this little canister I'm gonna pick up this uh, this this rifle up really quick so it goes into this little canister and this canister has a like a sprocket or like a it looks like a sunburst or something like a wheel in there that spins around every time you fire this airline on the side uh, my finger is almost touching it the blowback air goes in there pushes this piston and then it spins a little uh, wheel in there and that feeds the next ball so um, this would be more of a home defense type of thing. I'm gonna try to get uh, more power out of it. I haven't really messed with it too much. It has paintballs in it right now. So I can just keep firing and as long as there's uh, ammo in this hopper, it will keep shooting. Um, and the little gears do wear out, but it'll take a while for that to happen. Um, I have the TCR barrel on it. Um, another reason I got this is because it has A5 threads. So all the barrels I have for my TCR will fit. This is the stock barrel. It's like eight and a half inches um, from end to end. Um, and my TCR barrel is 11 inches from end to end. And um, just right now I was chronoing this. It was getting like a 245, 250 on this barrel, the stock barrel. It has some porting on it. Um, it may or may not affect the shots. I'm, I'm not too sold on that yet. And then uh, this is an 11 inch barrel, so it's like two and a half inches longer because the, the threads are pretty much right here. They don't really go in. Um, so it's, it's about that much longer. And uh, just by switching the barrel, I got like a uh, 260, uh, not 260. I went up to like 262 or uh, 265 on my speed. So I'm just gonna show you the speed um, at what it's hitting right now. And, and I can do just the normal velocity adjustment, which is very simple. I just have to turn a little screw on the side. Um, so yeah, this is now hitting like 260, um, which uh, it's more for paintball speeds. I don't know if you guys can see that 252 so yeah before it was hitting like 240 245 and I didn't want to I don't want it to be chopping paint um, 246 but uh, with this barrel that's a little bit longer it seemed to uh, the rounds went a little bit further and uh, there wasn't as much uh, erratic behavior I guess you could call it from it so I'm just gonna dump some rounds um, I'll probably just shoot this pole. So, yeah, there is a uh, a trigger assembly I can get. It's called a response trigger. And there's an empty, uh, there's this bolt right there above the other airline. So the response trigger goes in on that bolt and it connects uh, in here. And that's also mechanized. And uh, you could just look it up on Yahoo or, or not Yahoo, on a... YouTube or whatever, just look up Titman A5 response trigger and you'll see videos of people just full auto firing. And you basically just, uh, there's a little piston that pops up behind here and pushes the trigger back forward. And um, it's all air powered. So the only reason I'm not getting that right now is because I don't know if uh, that air power from the blowback is going, I don't know if that air power from the blowback is gonna be lost on uh, power going out the front of the barrel. So I'm gonna try this for now. Um, do some kind of basic upgrades, a spring of like a, the main spring, a valve spring, uh, see what I get from that. And then I'll go on to uh, getting a new hammer and uh, just tinkering around with it. But yeah, right now I'm, I'm just 
pulled it out of the box. Um, I just wanted to shoot paintballs with it just to see if it works, and it does, it works perfectly. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over here and start blasting some trees. So it's pretty accurate. Like my spider would be going left and right and up and down. That tree's pretty far, the one I was just shooting at. Um, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be uh, pretty sick. So I'm, I'm, my hopper's kind of running out. So that's why it had a couple misfires or non-fires. But I'm gonna shoot at that tree right there. And I'm just like, I'm not even looking down the sights. I'm just seeing where the first ball goes and then continuing to fire. Um, when I was, I didn't want this to chop paint out the box because I don't know what it was set at as far as the velocity. So when I took it out of the box, I loaded um, the nylon balls into it and uh, it was hitting like 306, 310. Um, and the velocity screw is right there, that hole right there. So um, I think it was a 530 seconds allen key fits in there and then you can turn it outward to increase the velocity because uh yeah it's basically a uh, set screw that's plugging the hole for where the air flows through so when you push the set screw in it's restricting the airflow and when you push the or like pull the set screw out it's allowing more air to pass um and I don't think it was anywhere close to being bottomed out. So I I feel like this will probably um, hit like uh, maybe 20 joules out just straight out the box. This is used. I don't know how long this spring's been in here. This is a stock that was added on. It normally doesn't have the stock. Um, and then, yeah, this barrel's longer. I can get, um, I think MCS has like a... Uh, Takamo body kit or something. I don't really want to spend too much. I just want to do some basic upgrades See what I see what I get out of it. If it's hitting like 25 30 joules, I'll be fine with that um, I don't think it'll go much higher than that because it has the same kind of inline bolt system as the uh, TMC and uh, Titman 98 and like the Cronus So it should be easy to upgrade I just have to get parts look at some stuff. The only other thing I could do for upgrades is um, aside from like the uh, velocity and uh, getting more power out of it is just kind of superficial upgrades like that response trigger I was talking about where it just shoots full auto um, There is an electronic trigger for this. I think it's discontinued not 100% sure on that and uh, I'll show you guys the ratchet in there one second All right, so I took the can off and there's a little wheel in there and every time I shoot it advances So it's constantly feeding uh, balls or paint or whatever into that area. And uh, as long as there's balls in that hopper, it's going to keep feeding. And then if it doesn't feed for some reason, you can push this uh, little lever on the side. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, I can push that lever on the side and it'll manually uh, make that advance. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm trying to not drop everything. So, uh, yeah, this is my new little project. Um, I don't think anyone's made this specific model uh, into like a home defense thing. Aside from like just gutting the whole thing out and putting that uh, MCS um, body kit on it. Um, there's a few barrels I was looking at. I'm probably just gonna buy a, another TCR barrel. Um, this one seems to be working fine, but I could also use this on my, this is for my Berna TCR, but I've been putting it on my um, Tip X. So I already kind of need a second one because the Tip X stock barrels, I mean, it's good, but like you, a longer barrel always increases the accuracy and speeds. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably uh, get another TCR barrel. Uh, they're like 25 bucks not that expensive compared to like a uh some like i don't know uh like a uh custom products or um an actual titman one or like a, a uh, hk army barrel or some other brand um 
I can get a, a stock TCR barrel for 25 bucks. And, uh, um, yeah, I got to take it apart. It works fine right now. So I'm probably just going to like use it as a paintball gun for like a week or two and then start getting upgrade parts, uh, locally if I can, and then look online for certain things. The other stuff I can upgrade is, uh, this like sprocket system. So there's a piston inside here and, uh, the gear stuff in there. Um, supposedly there's a, uh, like a gear attachment or like a gear, um, a gear setup that's like 35 bucks. And basically this piston is plastic and the gears in here are plastic or like some sort of composite stuff. So, um, the upgraded gears are, uh, stainless steel and they make piston rods that are aluminum. So, uh, the plastic piston rod is like $2. And the plastic um, gear stuff is like two dollars. There's like two parts, two or three parts I could buy. So, for me to replace the plastic stuff, it's like eight bucks probably. If I get the metal or aluminum stuff, uh, the the gear things are like thirty five, and this piston's like eight. So it'll be forty dollars, but it should be a lot more durable than the plastic. Um, since I just bought this, I don't know how long the piston's gonna last and how long that ratchet's gonna last. So that's kind of an optional upgrade, um, but supposedly the um, the metal gears supposedly operate with a lower pressure than this plastic one would. So what that means basically is this plastic one does like 15 balls per second. If I have that uh, fast trigger on here, I, mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to need 15 balls a second, like rapid fire, all crazy like that. It'll be nice, but I don't know if it'll work with uh, the extra power that is going to be shooting out and um, this air system using stuff and this air system using stuff. <clears throat> so it might end up hindering the performance. But um, after I like upgrade the power out of this thing, if it's possible, and um, the aluminum metal gearbox, it operates at like 150 PSI. So when this bolt moves forward, the blowback comes out and then it puts air through this system and then pushes this piston in and out. And uh, that's what's making it move. Um, the air, the blowback air pressure. So if it's operating at a lower pressure, which is what's advertised on that uh, aluminum stainless steel gearbox thing, um, it basically can move around faster and with less air pressure needed to actually move. So that thing is claiming it can do 30 balls per second. Um, and that's just kind of like ridiculous for like a home defense thing. That's just all stuff I'm looking at. Like, uh, I don't know the maximum potential of this, but it seems like it's cool. Um, I always wanted a Titman's normal paintball marker. So this is my, uh, nostalgic Titman normal paintball marker. Um, maybe at some point I'll change this, this air supply. It looks like there might be a braided steel under there and it's like coated in rubber or something. And then I can change this if I want. I'm just going to leave it, you know, kind of stock right now and s slowly um, get new parts for it and then see what those parts do. And basically I'm going to start cheap and then go up higher in, in prices and uh, upgrades and stuff. And uh, I'm going to dry fire this to get all the air out. So, um, this was, uh, 100 and, after tax and everything, $137. Um, so that's pretty comparable to, like, the T4E pistols or whatever, but this is not a pistol, it's like a full-size, um, rifle, and, uh, or marker, paintball marker, and, um, yeah, I'm going to be having some fun with this thing. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I'm going to be doing. So this is the stock barrel. And uh, yeah, it has the porting. But I'll see if that actually um, changes speeds. Because the TCR one, the only porting it has is this this uh, little lines on the end. There's no little holes anywhere on the barrel. It's like a solid barrel. Um... I don't know what the original Titman 
TCR barrel looks like. Um, it's probably similar. It might have ports. I, I have no idea. I don't have one. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to get a new barrel, get some springs, um, play around with it. I haven't even really up to the velocity a lot. I'll probably make a different video about that or just tell you guys, you know, the max. But when it was shooting out the box, it was hitting like 15. Um, and I don't know where the um, set screw was at. So I'm just going to be messing around with this for the next uh, little while. And then um, yesterday I was shooting the uh, aluminum panel with the uh, 50 cal stuff and all that other jazz. So I took this over to my, uh, I have like a metal table uh, kind of over there. There's a metal table, um, kind of over there, like, uh, like over there, kind of. And I got a hammer, put this on top of the table, and I was just like, bah, 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 hitting it. So I kind of flattened it out. I uh, lost a lot of those contours. I mean, they are still there. I need to get a heavier hammer, like a, a four-pound sledge, a little short guy, and uh, pound this thing out a little bit better. So I'll be able to tell like the new shots uh, in addition to using like a Sharpie marker or something or a chalk. Um, but yeah, Sharpie marker can wipe off with uh, rubbing alcohol or like hand sanitizer. So yeah, that's, uh, that'll be future stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, keep you guys updated on this thing.